New tonight, they may creep you out, but the state is working hard in the southern tier to save one of the largest salamanders in North America. Unless you know where to look, you're probably not going to see them. News Force George Rickert spent the day in search of giant salamanders. George, glad it was you and not me. I admit, I have played in the woods and creeks of western New York my whole life, but had no idea until today what you might find under some of the larger rocks along the Allegheny River. In Oswego Creek, a tributary of the Allegheny River near Olean, we followed technicians from the State Department of Environmental Conservation in search of the eastern hellbender salamander. It really is a fantastic animal, and we want to try to keep it here in New York. Oh, oh, there goes one. I helped man one of the nets as this team flipped over the largest rocks they could find. Within 10 minutes, we caught one, measuring about 14 inches long. Most of them grow to two feet long. Well, the hellbender salamander is really the gem of New York's natural history. Uh, this, and this body form has been around since the time of the dinosaurs. These hellbender salamanders actually breathe through this flap of skin on the side of their body, like a gill on a fish, except those flaps run the entire length of their bodies. They eat crayfish and thrive under very large rocks, but they are now endangered in four other states, so the DEC is tagging these with microchips to monitor their survival and also taking swabs to look for certain viruses and fungus. Using the revenue from hunting and fishing licenses, the DEC has preserved wetlands and brought back the bald eagle. Most people may never see these slimy critters, but they are part of the food chain. Is it worth the time and money and effort? We're at the northern part of their range. They're uh, very rare here. With just a, some effort, we can probably keep them for future generations. And uh, they're very amazing and interesting animals to watch and observe. And the DEC isn't doing it alone. The Seneca Nation has provided a lot of support and assistance in studying hellbenders, even diving to do surveys. Uh, we also are getting support from Buff State in terms of research. The State Department of Transportation and the Buffalo Zoo are also involved in this.